Functions are a group of expressions that together perform a task. Scala is a functional language, so as the name suggests, functions are a very important part of learning the language, and it's basically what it revolves around altogether. Um, methods and functions are very closely related, uh, but there's a slight difference. Methods are a part of a class, whereas a function isn't part of a, uh, a larger class with a, a body of um, multiple uh, objects and uh, pieces. It's just kind of a standalone thing. For example, this main thing right here is um, a function, but it's part of the YouTube object. Um, a function is just kind of on its own, and I'm going to show you how to write those, which turns out to be the same way as how you write a method, but uh, we'll, we'll get more into all that kind of stuff later. So, what we're going to do is, after that last uh, curly brace from the main method, I want you guys to make a couple enters, uh, a couple new lines to kind of give us a fresh start, and we're going to type in um, a function that allows us to add two variables together. So, to do this, we just say def, which stands for define, uh, add, which gives us the, uh, the name, and then parentheses. Now, in the parentheses, we want to say the variables that we're using, um, and kind of name them for the rest of the method. So we're going to say a int, because we're going to make an integer called a, and then we're going to say b colon int, because we want an integer that we're going to call b. Now outside of the uh, parentheses is where we define the return type or the type of the function. So it's the same kind of syntax as we did for the variable, or um, I guess in this case the value. Um, a colon int um, says that it's of type integer, and it's the same thing for method. You just say int. Then you just say equals and uh, curly braces. And you'll see there's a really close uh, relation between how we wrote the main function and how we're writing the add function. So now let's actually add these two together. If we say a plus b, we've now added the two together, and the value is returned to anything that is calling this uh, function add. So now that we've defined it, um, and it does everything it needs to do, we can actually call it up here in the main method and see what value it sends out. So we're going to just say print line and then add four and three. Now if we save and run this, we'll see that we get the output of seven. If you're coming from uh, Java, by the way, too, you may notice that this is strange because we don't have a return, and I'll talk about that in just a second. So if we go up here, we see seven was printed out. So we have our value of our method. Perfect. That's what we expected, we didn't, we didn't get some other kind of strange number, so everything's working as planned. Now, like I said, if you came from Java, you, you might be wondering, well, that's really strange. Usually you have to say return type um, or return the value. Uh, otherwise, you also get an error saying that this doesn't return the same type as what the method says it's going to return. Well, in Scala, you actually don't have to worry about that. You can if you want to, it's an optional thing, you can say return a plus b and that will work just as well. But in Scala the method will also return the value of the last expression. So in this case the expression a plus b is 7 when we give it uh, a equals 4 and b equals 3. So there's no need to say return a plus b because the last expression in here is already um, an int value a plus b is going to return that value and so there's no point in having to explicitly say return a plus b for no reason. Now we can also make another method, let's call this one uh, subtract. We want to be unique here and we can say uh, a colon int b colon int and then let's say c colon int, so the integer c, and we can actually just subtract c from this value, and you'll see that we still, as long as we 
change your method up here so it's one that exists. If we do 4, 3, and 2, we'll end up with 5 because it will work the same way. We're still giving it the last expression as something that can be evaluated with these numbers, and so we still don't have to say return. The only time we'll ever have to say return, we get 5. The only time we'll have to say return is if we're doing something else. Uh, for example, if we were to say, uh, I don't know, some sort of long e expression that goes through a bunch of operators and then we assign that to a variable or a val, um, a value, for example, val uh, c, or not c, x int equals, um, we have to then say return val. Um, for example, if we just run this, we'll get an error um, down here saying uh, compilation completed with one error um, and zero warnings. And the error is going to point us to uh, the end of this parenthesis and say that it found unit type, which is the Scala type for basically nothing, null. Um, but it required an integer, and that's because there's nothing returned by making an assignment, only by making an expression. So in this case, if you're assigning it to a value for whatever reason, you then have to say return x. However, the value of doing that is pretty small and useless. There's no real true reason to have to use return when you can just leave the last expression being the value you need. Um, that's ba your basic introduction to functions for Scala. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please like it. It helps out a lot. Reshare it with anyone that would be interested in it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.